Gaining access to your backed up data is faster than ever before with PhD's Instant VM Recovery. With the ability to power on and run a backed up virtual machine right from the backup data store, Instant Recovery gets you back up and running within seconds, eliminating downtime in the event of a disaster. Fast access to your backups lets you verify your backup data or test applications using production data running in isolation without the need to wait for a full standard recovery. This is a great complement to PhD's True Restore technology, which verifies each block written to the backup target to ensure full data verification. Note that Instant Recovery is available for PhD Virtual Backup for VMware vSphere only at this time. The Instant Recovery process is very similar to the existing Restore process. You select the backup you want to recover from the backup catalog, and then launch the recovery wizard. At the options step of the wizard, a new recovery type, Instant, is available. In addition, you have the option to begin seeding the PHD motion process. Essentially, this begins a full standard restore in the background, which, when complete, can be used to merge with the instantly recovered VM later. I'll also select to append a suffix to the recovered VM and to power it on when ready. I'll finish the wizard and submit the job. The initial instant recovery takes only a few seconds to complete, and the VM is registered and powered on in the hypervisor client. The VM can then be accessed for verification purposes or to perform any task as necessary. Any changes made to the VM are maintained and stored on a separate write space location that can be customized using the PHD console's configuration area. In the VM properties, I can see that the VM's virtual disk is actually running right from the backup data store and not on my production storage. In the PHD console, the dashboard displays a quick overview of all active, instantly recovered VMs. The Instant VM Recovery area displays the individual VMs along with their current status. Here I can see my VM is active and has the seeding process, the background restore, currently in progress. When the seeding process completes, the VM status is updated in the Instant Recovery tab. You may need to click Refresh to see the update. Now this VM can be merged with the seeded VM by completing the PHD motion process. All changes that were stored will be merged and the disks will be moved off of the temporary backup storage. To complete the process, the VM must be powered down temporarily. When ready, I'll click Complete PHD Motion to merge the changes and move the VM to production storage. When that process completes, I'll power on the VM again and can see it's now running from my production storage location. In addition to PHD Motion, if your VMware licensing allows, you can use vSphere's vMotion technology to move an instantly recovered VM from the temporary instant VM recovery storage to your production storage. This option does not require any downtime, but may take longer in some scenarios. For additional information on PHD Virtual Backup, visit the PHD Virtual website at www.phdvirtual.com.